This is a little bit about the long hunter dress. Um, the moccasins, they were, most of them were made from elk or deer skins, which you really could get a hold of when they, the long hunter would wear them. He wore out his uh, city clothes or whatever, and then he would go to these, and the leggings are made from deer skins. They come all the way up to the thigh of the leg. They have a thong that ties to the side that holds a legging in place. The leggings were used to keep out the, the briars and the rough terrain that they had to go through. Kept them from getting all cut up and scratched, plus it kept them warm. The uh, leg ties were used for a couple, three purposes. Number one was to keep everything tight, keep bugs and ticks and critters from crawling up their pant legs. Plus, the beadwork was done by different tribes of Indians. A lot of the, each sign, each design meant a certain thing. So the long hunter and the trapper learned real quick which signs meant the peace, white, was purity, the blue was for peace, and most of the Indians recognized it. So the long hunter would wear stuff that the Indians would recognize and help them go through their country. The shirts were just a long linen shirt. Uh, basically because they were long, it just kept them warmer. And they usually have a neck knife or a short knife, a side knife. The side knife was basically a bigger knife used for cutting up their game protection. The little knife was used to set around. A lot of times when they eat, they would use a knife, have to have a knife to cut stuff, and protection too. Uh, the headdress, which I don't have on, but which it, 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 it came into effect two or three different ways. Some of them wore felt hats, some wore uh, skin hats, but most of them just wore whatever they liked. So the long hunter and the, and the sash, they going around his waist, he would tuck it up tight and he would use it for a pocket because none of these clothes have pockets. And they would tote stuff inside their sash to hold it, to hold it different things. They would carry flint, steel, uh, anything they wanted to stick in there. So the long hunter, he was pretty much prepared for everything. He carried a lot of stuff with him.